Avatar Way of Water. Um, you're new to the franchise. So what was it like working with the Legacy cast and who are you most excited to work with? I think we all had our star starstruck moments from oh, time yeah. to time. Um, Kate was Yeah, I was you were about to say, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I was like, No, well, she plays Sarai, uh, my character's name is Sarai, and her mom is Renal. Okay. And Kate Winslet plays that character, so I got to spend a lot of time with her. Jim sure. comes into, we're doing a rehearsal, and Jim comes in, and he's like, we're 99.9% .9 sure Kate Winslet is playing Ronal. And I turn to Jamie, and I'm like, that's Kate Winslet from Titanic. And he's like, baby, I know. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about your experience on set. There's a lot of water in this movie, right? So did you do a lot of training? What was the most difficult part about filming underwater scenes? Well, so we introduced the Metcaina clan, and they are influenced by their environment, mm -hmm. and they're surrounded by the water. So mm -hmm. their build is different. They have thin-like arms. Their tails are a little bit thicker, so they can swim in the water. Mm -hmm. And they can also hold their breath for a very long time. And Jim wanted to do it the best way, and it's to get the actors in the water. Mm -hmm. So we had to do free diving training. I got scuba certified because today I spent a lot of time underwater. But more than that, Jim wanted me to get scuba certified so I know what it's like to feel effortlessly mm -hmm. in the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, and we got to do long breath holds and learn how to act underwater, which Jim created. He yeah. really perfected I mean, that. And we did, like, mocap, mo perfor performance capture underwater in a movie for the first time, right? For the first time, so, yeah. So, we were in new waters. Oh. That's it's cool. gorgeous. <laughs> well, more <laughs> uncharted waters. That, that's, I don't know. So, was there a contest between who could hold their breath the longest underwater? No. no? I think because we no. all got beat beat by Kate Winslet when oh. she reached yeah, what? Yeah, that's true. And then she's like, yeah. Yeah. Away. Yeah, she's, she's gonna... But even so, I... I refuse to be competitive about work because okay. I'm so competitive that I think we would get injured. But there was friendly competition. Like, time-wise, you'd hear, like, oh, you just did this last week. And it's like, like, I blacked out, like, trying to get past, like, 3 minutes 30. Oh, wow. Only because, like, one of you did 3 minutes. And I was like, next week I'm going to get that 30 seconds. Did you find it difficult acting underwater? Like, was it different than just doing it normally like everything was challenging but in a great way mm -hmm. because Jim would explain everything in such great detail and he was such a great leader mm -hmm. um so it honestly just became fun we were so young that I think when you're an actor as a kid you just do it right. you don't even have a chance to overthink it I feel yeah there's a crazy moment for me because we did a bit of training in Hawaii and when you do free diving, you're meant to have partners that look after each mm -hmm. other, like someone's on the surface while someone else dives. And we were each other's partners. Oh my gosh, we were! And then I, and then I just remember you coming up and going like, oh, like, we're kind of responsible for each other's like livelihood right now. <laughs> but it's kind of an amazing like thing to go through with another cast member, mm -hmm. and so um, it's a bonding experience. Well, yeah, yeah and like completely so as well. Like it's so. Well, unifying. also because yeah. underwater you can't speak. Mm. So you kind of have to find a communication. And what Jim created also, we have a sign language. We had mm. someone come in and create a sign language for the Mekaina clan because that's how they communicate mm -hmm. underwater. And I think it becomes so tranquil mm -hmm. and beautiful and kind of like, I guess, spiritual a little bit because you can't speak and you're just underwater, mm -hmm. just vibing. Sitting here in Pandora, this is Animal Kingdom. I was told that some of you were here for the opening of the land. What's it like to be back five years later? This is this is my third time being here, mm -hmm. and I think it, it never stops feeling magical. You know, like um, I think Flight of Passage is like my favorite ride in the whole of Disney World, honestly. Yeah. And I don't know. I think I'm going for the record of how many times someone can go on that on that <laughs> ride. I think I'm close to twenty. We did seven the first time we were here. We yeah. went seven times in a row. In a row. It's awesome, yeah. and you really feel like you're a not V. And we were doing so much training that it felt like we were doing training when we were sitting in those yeah, chairs. Yeah, because you can feel it breathing underneath yes. you, and you're like, oh, I'm like, I'm in it. You know, you're like acting, but even more immersed.